Wrong number, man. <coughs> Dude. Has to do with the phone. Man, it's just hard when you're on the air and you gotta work all these buttons and... I'll call you right back, thanks. I'll call you right back, thanks. Hey, Jerry, it's Howard Stern. You're supposed to be on the air with us. I mean, hey. I mean, certain things like this are just not right. I mean, you say, I mean, what type of a person are you that you say you're going to be on the air, and then you're not? Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> we have Jerry Seinfeld Jr. here, just because you're not here. You know what's happening, Jerry? You're getting too big for your britches. You, you make appointments to talk to us. Now you got the television show, and you're right after Cheers. Yeah, what? Were the ratings so good? We you were, can ignore this phone call? We were there for you. I was there for you when, you know, hey, no, you know, even Reed just said we're sick of you and you had a gig coming up and you knew I could help you pack the place. And I'm sure if Jerry Seinfeld Jr. got big, you wouldn't uh, stop doing the show, would you? Gee, I wouldn't because I know what it's like when your father walks out on you. <laughs> my mother was never quite the same. And she used to say, hey, you know, when I got slapped on my ass when I was born, the first thing I said was, hey. You realize we're doing a radio show now for Jerry on his answering machine? And he doesn't have a limit. That's no. what I realize. He has no limit on his machine. We could go for hours. We could talk up his entire message to right now. You might have to schedule a new flight. <laughs> right now, Jay Leno's trying to call. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, what's going on here? I don't understand it. <laughs> what is going on? He never. Cut, one time we even laughed about the fact, why do people talk on the phone when they could be doing a club or something? Hing, <laughs> hing, <laughs> hing. All right, Jerry. You're probably sleeping there with some Hollywood babe. But in conclusion, let us well, say... you could understand that. You could forgive him for that. So peanuts on airlines bother you? Peanuts bother me. What else bothers you? What I, bugs you? And how about these transistor radios? Transistor radios. They don't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Who's buying these things? Hey, who invented the comb? <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say, I want a piece of plastic with sticks in it to put in my hair? I mean, come on. Who are these people? I, pick, I expect Jerry to pick up the phone any minute and go, Hey, would you get okay already, all right? I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> so, hey. So, hey, I got important phone calls coming in. Larry David is trying to call in with 10 <laughs> script ideas, and we're breaking balls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jerry. You missed your window of opportunity. Wait a second. I don't like the idea that you're saying I sleep. Because one time me and Jay laughed about the fact that people actually sleep when, when they could, they could be, be working at a club. I understand that. You and Mavis and Jay. M I'm old black Mavis. <laughs> I see. Can you do me a favor, uh, Jerry Seinfeld Jr.? Explain to me toll booths. To I don't understand toll booths. <laughs> what? Does somebody want to stay in a little room and take change from strangers on an highway? <laughs> I mean, are you telling me that somebody back in school said, I want to be a fireman, I want to be a policeman, I want to work in a toll booth. I want to shit in a little box out in the middle of the highway, breathing in cough fumes and taking quarters from people who are going back and forth from Jersey. This it makes no sense. So true, Jerry Seinfeld Jr. I mean, hey. You're just like your father. Yeah. To well, him, no, that's because, a topic. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Everything is a topic for you, isn't it? Like if I just say door. Door. Who invented the door? <laughs> Why can't people just walk in and out of a room? Why does a door have to get in the way? You're just going to open a door anyway. <laughs> So why put a door there? I mean, it's it's amazing. You're just like your father. <laughs> just go. Give me any topic. <laughs> Dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. Exactly. <laughs> they look so much alike. Why don't they make the same animal? <laughs> why do you got to have one dog and one cat? You just make one animal. That's a combination of the two of them. I see. Just give me another topic. All I'm right. Roll. Okay. Uh, radio. <laughs> radio. Now look. Well, who invented the radio? Yeah. I mean, when you have TV sets, you can look at the person and hear them. That's right. Yeah, you're hearing them. Say, I don't know what this person looks like. <laughs> this person might not even be ahead. Wow, you are amazing. Yes, you really ahead. are amazing. How uh, about people who are amazed by things? All right, amazing people. People <laughs> who are amazed. Anything you say can yes. become a <laughs> Advertising. Advertising. 
hey, sometimes they advertise products and are not telling the truth about them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about the commercials you see? Any of those commercials strike you funny? They burn me up. <laughs> they do burn you up. <laughs> they, they burn you to, up. To, to, borrow, to borrow a phrase from my pal Len, <laughs> they burn me up. They do. <laughs> and uh, what, what commercials make you especially mad? Like, have you seen one that really bothers you? Well, hey, how about this Clapper commercial? The what commercial? The Clapper commercial. Clapper. That you drives you crazy. Somebody claps their hand and that turns a line on and off? Right. This makes no sense. Why doesn't that make any sense? Why doesn't the person just get up from the bed and turn the lamp off? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they sitting in the bed applauding? Right. I don't understand it. All right, Jerry. We're gonna Why do people lie in bed? They have to climb onto the bed. By then, it makes them more tired. That's and right. they can just lie on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how everything... You have such a comic genius mind. That any, Who are these geniuses? And you, know what, and you know what's great about you? Some people have to strain for an idea. You just take any... Anything. <laughs> Do me a favor. Yes. Explain rugs. Rugs. I don't understand rugs. You could stand on a flat surface yeah. and stand perfectly normal, huh. but you're on a rug and you move it around on it. Yeah. And it gets dirty. Now you can't. You can clean a floor with a mop. Right. You can't clean a rug with a mop. Right. So a rug is no. There's no purpose for a rug. Yeah. And then you got to buy a vacuum once you have a rug. Right. So I think that the vacuum people got together and said, "Let's make rugs." Right. <laughs> I see what you're saying. You think it's a conspiracy? I think they had a bunch of vacuums and yeah. they said, "No one's going to use this on their floor when they could use a broom." All right. Quickly now, Donahue. Donahue. What kind of guy is this Donahue? Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Hey, is she short and skinny or what? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Now, it's not hard, it's not soft. Right, okay, very good. All right, Jerry Seinfeld Jr. following in his father's footsteps. All right, Jerry, thanks for uh, being a part of the fun. Please. And once you get an answering machine that has a beep at the end of it. Man, we're send, still on his answering machine. Yeah, we're still on his answering oh machine. Oh, my goodness. I wish we could recall this phone call. Send, send some money home this. to mom. What about those sex phones? How about these sex phones? I don't want to have sex with a phone. Right. Can we get my there phone all dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Jerry Seinfeld Jr. So, Jerry, if we can have you, we have Jerry Seinfeld Jr. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have one of you on. What about these people who have sons? It's hard to hang up unless you have, like, the beep. Right, when they cut you off, it's okay. How about these entry services that have the beep on them? Yeah. Is I that annoying like or what? I don't hang up on people. You know, those comedy clubs have to burn you up with all they, those names, Giggles well, and Bitch. they burn me up. Yeah. Giggles and Bitch, ha ha, he he. <laughs> right. Ha ha, he he. Now, well, doesn't it burn you up it. when you go to a club and people are eating while you're doing your act? This really bothers me because I hear crunching sounds in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what are these people eating? <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is great that it's on Jerry's machine. How long do you think this is going to go? I, I can't stop. But I'm wondering how much tape there oh, is. Oh, I, I, we could actually find out. I bet you it's a 16-minute cassette with 30 oh, minutes on each side. Oh, man. <laughs> Just wait till he gets this message. I know. I want to be there I when he gets it. he calls in for this. Yeah, yeah call in for it. <laughs> Silent farts. Silent farts. I mean, if you're going to fart... People are going to smell it. They're going to know you farted. You might as well make noise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. it's not like no one's going to know you farted. Right. Everyone's going to smell it. Unless you might as well so, have some fun making yeah, yeah. it. Okay, very good. It. <laughs> very good. Let's say your nose is stuffed up and right. you can't smell it. You have to have something to listen to. <laughs> White people's hair versus black people's hair. Hey. Who are these black people with that kinky hair of theirs? I see what I mean. Any topic, They Robin. can't comb it. They can't brush it in front of their face. Right. This is why the Beatles could never be black. I see. Very good. Wait, you are just like your father. <laughs> Amazing. And these things just come to you. They right. just Keep come coming. to me. Jews. Jews. Hey, how about those Jews with their money? <laughs> with their money, right. Yeah. Okay, all right. Even you run out of material. <laughs> Very yes, how, about, how about these Jews? Oh, I oh, always, oh. Oh, what? We ran out. <laughs> we did it. That was it. We did it. We went all the way to the end. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What make, does anybody think that maybe... Wait a minute. Let's call cool back just to make sure it's all done. All right. <laughs> you prankster. <laughs> you need a vacation, too. <laughs> we had to run out. Yeah, it ran out. Da, da, dee, dee, dee. I just want to make sure there's not, like, a smidge of tape left. <laughs> hey, I'll call you back. I like the message, too. I'll call you back. I'll call you right back. I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hmm, you're kidding. 
Hey. Anyway, <laughs> what about those Jews? What kind of limit is they that? They wear those beanies on their heads, and they have money. I wrote that. Actually, Jay wrote that. You know what I envision? What? We'll fill up his whole answering machine. Then De Niro will try and call. After we fill it all up, <laughs> it'll be full. And Jerry will miss out on a primo oh, role. Wow. The first movie role ever. Right. Coppola's trying to call right now. I just want to make a couple of points. Donahue. <laughs> yes, because we won't be with you for a while. We've got to get this out now. Yeah. While well, you're still thinking. Donahue. Hey, this is Donahue. Let me just say something, if you don't mind, uh, Jerry uh, Seinfeld, Jr. Yeah. This Donahue. Go ahead. Talk does to my a show, Does a show on plastic surgery, and he's showing pictures of naked breasts... With no tape. No with no tape. tape. Nipples and everything. But under the guise that he's doing a, a public hey, service. Showing why do women have nipples and everything? <laughs> you know, when Jerry Seinfeld Jr. makes you the brunt of his humor, <laughs> it's very cutting. Oh, yes. You don't realize how biting. It's vicious. <laughs> They're just showing nipples and everything, okay? <laughs> Cleavage. <laughs> and it's just that if I go on TV and I show a stupid picture of me having sex with a horse, everybody gets on my ass. Yeah. You gotta block it out. No, if I ever show a picture of a woman's breast, but when I have a woman on with her breast, she just, you know, she's dancing around. In other words, if you can come up with some kind of scam where you can say to people, oh, this is about plastic surgery. They're showing women's breasts, and one of those breasts was very ample. So do you understand Jerry Seinfeld Jr. what I'm talking about? Isn't that hypocrisy? What about hypocrisy? I mean, hey, how about these hip hypocritical people? Hypocritical. So, I'm sorry, sometimes, sometimes I start falling into a Bing Crosby. Let me just say this, too. I was watching Joan Rivers. Very good And... We're still on Jerry's machine, by the way. <laughs> I want him to know this. I've never heard of a 20-minute limit on an answering machine. Yeah, I think he picked up and made it... Because you can do that. If you pick up your answering machine, it'll go... Beeks, and then you oh, hang you it up. Oh, you think so? Yeah, yeah. I think he's listening. Well, <laughs> you'd think he'd do it again quickly. You're right. Oh my God! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry very much. Uh, See, I think that's Jerry very Seinfeld rude. Jr. How could you do that in front of a famous comedian? I can't believe I belched. Yes. And why do people belch? What? You mean they wanted a fart but they didn't have the energy? <laughs> what was uh, Jerry's uh, report card on ratings? His following cheers that he told the audience. Uh, they haven't come out yet. Well, we'll be calling you back with those, Jerry. <laughs> But he told Al Roker earlier this week that uh, no matter where they put him, he gets ratings. I get ratings. I get ratings. <laughs> people love me. Because people like good comedy. I don't care about what the topic is. People like good comedy. As long as you're not picky on Roseanne Barr. Isn't it true yeah. that uh, you are... I saw, you on Live at Fo I saw your father on Live at Fox. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he was saying that he didn't want to do the same insipid... Wasn't sitcom. it changing comedy dialogue? Yeah, aren't, aren't you? Isn't your dad changing comedy dialogue? And I'll tell you something. I have to stand up for him here. Yeah, he is doing something different. <laughs> he does a show about a character who gets into funny situations. Yeah, and uh, has funny next door neighbors. Right, which has not been done before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, uh, we have to go, and I just thought you'd want to hear from your son, Jerry Seinfeld Jr. All right, pop. <laughs> you gotta show some money. <laughs> All right. Enough already. Enough with Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Howard 100 News presents a bonus track to Howard Stern's All Request Labor Day Week.